Today is a tutorial on my everyday go-to look as of recently, my routine changes. This is basically what I do if I'm going somewhere and want to look nice but you know want to just kind of throw something together. It doesn't take me too long to do. It's a soft winged liner with a nude shiny lip. I hope that you enjoy. I don't always do all of these steps. A lot of times I'll skip the eyeshadow. I definitely won't throw on the falsies or I'll change up the lip or just wear a tinted moisturizer or BB cream. I always wear sunscreen so I'm wearing sunscreen underneath the foundation but it just kind of changes. But for the most part these are the products that I have been reaching towards because they give me results quickly. So I hope that you enjoy. If you want to know how I created this look, just keep on watching. I've already prepped and primed my skin. I have on the Smashbox Original Primer on my face and my Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my eyes. I've also already done my eyebrows and I'm going to go ahead and start with the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. I've been using these a ton lately. I've already made some dents. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs eyeliner in Jazzberry. Any eyeliner would do. I'm putting this in my waterline and the lower lash line. So I'm like pressing into it and kind of creating a smudgy under lash line. I'm going to tight line with this, which is where we go underneath the upper lashes. This just creates a nice clean look, kind of makes your lashes look a little bit thicker. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on my upper lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to start with a pencil brush. This is my MAC 219, and I'm just going to smudge that eyeliner. A Q-tip would also work soft and contained. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Safe Word on a fluffy brush. This is my Wet n Wild crease brush. I'm going to lay this down into the crease. Okay, now we're going to start to define the wings. So I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush or an angled eyeshadow brush or a little eyeliner brush, whatever you think. And I'm going to take this MAC 212. I'm going to go into Androgyny and I'm going to carefully create my wing, extending the lower lash line up. Connect from like the middle of the eye to the upper corner. I'm going to check how it looks from different angles. When I look up into the mirror, it looks too curved, so I'm going to adjust. We want to make sure that the wing and the lower lash line connect. So I'm taking the pencil brush and taking more androgyny and bringing that into that outer corner and sweeping that over the lower lash line. And I'm going to start to add more opacity near the lashes. With the fluffy brush, I'm going to take more of Safe Word and just blend those edges, mostly this top edge. Flat brush. And I'm going to take Dominatrix right here. I'm going to stamp this onto the lash line. And then what I like to do to make that brown shade really nice and deep with like a, a depth of color is take just a little bit of Swallow. 
And then the layering of this color is going to make it look less flat. I'm taking the concealer I used to clean up my brows. And that is the Makeup Forever Camouflage Palette with a little flat concealer brush. Define that lower edge a little bit more. This way when we go in with the face concealer, we won't have to be so precise. We can kind of fill it in without getting real close to the eyeliner. Taking it all the way out and then I'm going to take it underneath the brow again and clean up that extended line. This also freshens up the brow bone a little bit again and makes it bright, clean, and lifted. I'm going to take a little bit of this concealer, bring it right into the area underneath the brow above the crease in the inner part just to clean that up. This really shapes the eye into the almond shape. Makes it go like, like this instead of rounded and smoky. Okay, and then I've done the inner corner a couple different ways. I've used frosting before and I've darkened it, made it into like a little point. I think I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Holographic Palette the Alchemist palette and I'm going to go into Ultraviolet Amethyst. I'm wiping off the excess product from my pencil brush. Dab that into my inner corner and I'm going to extend that right into the inner third of the lower lash line. And then to tie that inner corner in a little bit further I'm going to take a little bit of pink opal, tap that right into the very inner part of the upper lash line, just making it sort of blend. I'm going to take a little bit more of pink opal and bring that into the inner corner, just layering those two shades. I'm going to take that fluffy brush from Wet n Wild, take a little tiny bit of pink opal and lightly dust that underneath the brow. threw on some mascara and then added some Ardell Demi Wispies. These are the 120s. They flare out a little bit on the edges here so I thought that'd be pretty with the liner. So I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Urban Decay Optical Illusion Brush. My NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, putting that underneath the eyes, around the mouth. And then I'm going to use my Chanel Cream Bronzer with the same brush right around the cheeks and the perimeters of my face. This stuff blends out super easily, so for being a cream, it doesn't take that long to apply. I'm going to take a little bit of my Bye Bye Pores powder. Just going to very lightly dab this around the nose. This is mostly just for my pores. I've been switching on and off between my Kat Von D powder and this guy. I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette to set the rest of my face. I'm taking Dim Light, which is the first shade, and then just very lightly setting my under eyes. If you're oily or combination, then obviously use what works for you. I'm going to take this highlighting shade in the middle and set the cheekbone area as well as highlighting it. This looks really pretty and natural. I'm using this last shade and setting that cream bronzer just reinforcing the bronzing that's happening. We're not really full blown like contouring or anything. The lip combo I've been rocking more often than not is my Touch and Soul Penny lipstick. I know this doesn't really seem like an everyday shade, but I've been doing it, so yeah. It's kind of a nude shade with a metallic sheen. I'm taking my MAC Whirl lip liner 
And then I take my liquid lip side and first use that. And then sometimes I just leave it at that for a few hours and then bring this with me and apply the gloss later. But for the full impact for this look, I'll go ahead and apply that gloss. I really like this lip combo because the gloss allows you to refresh your lipstick, bring back that high impact shine without messing up the lipstick underneath. And it also hydrates the lips so that it doesn't feel so drying. So it's a really nice, comfortable, for me, everyday type lip. Okay, so that is my recent go-to look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Join my Cake Face family. I would love to have you. If you're returning, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this look. Comment in the comment section down below so we can chit chat. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.